Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to evaluate expressions with two variables. Now, when we evaluate an expression, we find the value of the expression, so what it equals once we work through it. For our examples, we are going to evaluate the expressions when g equals 7 and h equals 5. Let's jump into number 1, where we have 42 over g plus 8h. Now, 42 over g, that means 42 divided by g. 8h, that means 8 times h. The first thing that we need to do is replace or plug in the given values for the variables. This is called substitution. So let's plug in 7 for g and 5 for h and rewrite this expression. So we have 42 over g, let's plug in 7 for g, plus 8h, so 8 times h, let's plug in 5 for h. Now we can evaluate, so let's figure out what this equals. Since we have more than one operation, we need to use the order of operations, PEMDAS, to work through this. So parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. As far as the order of operations, we don't have any parentheses, we don't have any exponents. So the next priority would be multiplication and division. We have both. So what we can do, we can work from left to right. So division comes first, so let's do 42 divided by 7 to start off. 42 divided by 7 equals 6. Bring down everything we did not use. So the addition sign, the 8, the multiplication sign, and the 5. Now we have addition and multiplication. Multiplication comes before addition, so let's multiply next. 8 times 5 that equals 40. Bring down the addition sign and the 6 that we did not use, and we end with addition. So we have 6 plus 40. That equals 46. So the value of this expression is 46 when g equals 7 and h equals 5. Let's move on to number two, where we have gh, so g times h, minus, and then in parentheses, 23 plus h. Let's plug in and evaluate. So we start with g, let's plug in seven for g, times h, plug in five for h, minus, parentheses, 23 plus h, so plug in five, and then end parentheses. So now we need to go through the order of operations in order to evaluate this expression. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, so that is priority number one. Let's start there. We have 23 plus five, that equals 28. Bring down everything we did not use, so the subtraction sign, the five, the multiplication sign, and the 7. So now we have multiplication and subtraction. Multiplication comes before subtraction, so let's multiply next. 7 times 5, that equals 35. Bring down everything we did not use, the subtraction sign, and the 28. So we end with subtraction, 35 minus 28. That equals 7. The value of this expression is 7, when g equals 7 and h equals 5. So there you have it. There's how you evaluate expressions with two variables. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.